lot of what Paramount does is very sexy stuff, armored vehicles, new aircraft, but some of the most important stuff in, in, in industry are the components that allow those, those uh, systems to operate. The MI-24 and the MI-17 helicopter are probably the most used helicopter type in the world, and the main rotor blades are the biggest restriction to their operations. Um, each helicopter needs five blades, the blades are life limited, they're very expensive to buy, they can only come from one place, and through the advanced manufacturing um, technologies that we've developed in this country, we've managed to create a composite main rotor blade that replaces the metallic blade perfectly. It's a big thing, it's a, it's a big thing for the global helicopter market, and it's something that we've been able to do out of South Africa because we had to. We couldn't get access to the metallic blades all the time, so we had to find an alternative, and often innovation comes out of necessity. So Paramount's investment in robotics is not just about a product. We're already in the robotics business. We already produce autonomous aerial systems. We're already um, developing autonomous boats. So what we've done is consolidated our robotics expertise and created a robotics division. And into that robotics division, we're putting seed capital of about 100 million rand. It's going to generate new generations of robotics technologies. One of the products we show today is an amazing hexapod that we're playing around with. And it may well replace armored vehicles into the future because it can deal with difficult terrain and it's not constricted by wheels. Um, but if you don't start dreaming, if you don't start thinking out of the box and thinking into the future, then, then you're going to, to land up behind the curve. And the establishment of this robotics division is going to be important not just for the defense and aerospace environment, but I think South Africa can be a leader in robotics right across industry. And, 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 and we're going to pioneer that. So at the moment, Paramount has uh, nearly 3,000 people strong across all of, its in all of its activities around the world. This is not an industry that is going to create tens of thousands of jobs. This is an industry that's going to create high value jobs. And if you don't create high value jobs in Africa, then we don't create the skills that are required to, to, to create the lower value jobs down the value chain. As important as it is to have volume of jobs in this country, we have, to have v we have to have value of jobs. My mission is not to create lots of jobs, it's to create high value jobs and it's to use those, those people to create innovation that then leads to other industrial development. We're a large company in South African context, but in our market, in our environment, we're a very small organization. And a lot of what we've been able to achieve is because we're small, because we're entrepreneurial, because we encourage innovation, because we're not scared to fail. So a lot of what we've achieved is because of the fact that we are in South Africa, because of the fact that we have people that think out of the box, and because of the fact that we don't have huge amounts of government funding to, to, to fund projects that don't go right. This is an industry that has traditionally been in the hands of huge multinationals. This is an industry that's traditionally been in the hands of government-owned enterprises. These organizations are very conservative in their approach to the world. What Paramount has done is it has created, it's taken needs and turned them into products, as opposed to taking technology and then go out and look for markets. There is no question that the big multinationals are better funded than we are, but nowhere near as agile as, as, as what we are. The product that we have today is clean sheet product. A lot of the product is the latest generation of, of technology, and the, a lot of the product is designed for market need of today, not market need of the Cold War, and that's what's allowed us to achieve what we have.